Hi everyone, welcome to VLSA Academy. Today we will learn about placement of standard cells. In previous video, we have already seen the introduction of placement stage in which we briefly saw what is done before the placement. So now let us start without any further delay to learn about what happens in the placement. Let us start our discussion with the assumption that macros are already placed and rows are cut and you have already placed tab cells and cap cells and other physical only cells which are needed in the design before placement. Nowadays tool are very advanced and predefined strategies are available in the tool for placing standard cells. Based on design requirement different manufacturers choose different strategies for placing the standard cells. Let us discuss each of them one by one. So there are mainly de depending on your design it could be timing driven. So if your the strategy is timing driven that means you are telling the tool to place the standard cells such that timing is minimized or timing is optimized you can say so if your design is timing critical then you can prefer for timing driven in this you can tell the tool with an app option or based on your internal switches that your timing effort your timing effort while placing the standard cells should be high if your design is timing critical you will say that it is it is having high timing effort so that tool will put more effort while placing the standard cells it could also be medium there are multiple options available and sometimes even low value is available if you put timing effort as low then tool will not give priority to the timing but if your design is timing critical then you will say that you have to use timing effort high while placing the standard cells second option that is available as a strategy is congestion driven so while placing the standard cells you are essentially telling the tool to place the standard cells such that your congestion should be minimum you are trying to minimize the congestion you are giving the priority while placing the standard cells that you should place the standard cells in such a manner that congestion is minimum so your standard cells should not be placed closer and actually spread should be more spread of cells should be more compared to stand uh, timing driven effort so spread of cells is high in this case so that congestion is optimum and this is done when your design have less area and high utilization so this effort this effort is actually preferable when you have low area and you want to uh, minimize the congestion because when you have low area and standard cell packing is high that time congestion can be there so while placing the standard cells you have to minimize the wire length such that congestion is optimized second option is available that is area driven in area driven if you have low area and you have to recover the area so the typical example that we provide here is if you have one and cell and after that if you have there is one uh, one or cell available and then after that you have an inverter so such combination can be there and in order to optimize this type of combination instead of using these three cells you have an AOI cell available and an AOI cell is nothing but your and or invert so you are replacing three cells with one cell here that way you are actually recovering the area by doing the logical restructuring the terminology typical terminology that is available for this is logical restructuring such that your area is recovered so area recovery is done in this particular manner one last option that is available is your power driven strategy in the power driven strategy you are telling the tool to not to use leaky cells not to use leaky cells when you use leaky cells what happens is you have more leakage power dissipation you are trying to optimize the power so this is power driven means power optimization when your design is power critical the typical use case of is this is when you have mobile related chips or automobile related chips which have power criticality more compared to the performance of the device that time you use power driven strategy more these strategies have been in place for quite some time now 
but the designs have been so complex nowadays and demand for power performance and area optimization is so high that manufacturers are now moving to the combination of different strategies to meet the design specification targets that is all for this video we will see more placement related concepts and other vlsi related concepts in further videos please like share and subscribe to the channel and do give your important feedback in the comment section thank you